Brian Cousson and his brother Peter are partners in AirGuard, a company focused on helping farmers boost their profits through improved seeding technology. Recently, they've been working on helping farmers prevent plugging in air seeder tubes. Fertilizer buildup in some cases can cause farmers to be down for days. So, I mean, every, as we kind of all know in this industry, is every day counts. Um, getting seed in the ground is the most important thing, so that's what we want to help with. The concept behind their air guard blockage prevention system has been used in Australia for over 10 years. Kusan says the system controls the temperature to optimize product flow within the air seeder. What it does is it, it increases the air temperature coming through the air seeder. And what this prevents is fertilizer, dusty fertilizer, blocking up on the hoses and on openers. The system takes the place of the air cart fan intake screen. Cousin told us that installation should only take about an hour for one person. So we start off with uh, removing the mesh screen from the intake of the fan on the air cart. And we basically bolt on a bracket on either side um, mount the blockage prevention system on there and pin it in place and then we install the hydraulics into the system. We go from the return line on the fan motor and we plumb into the import on our manifold here and then we go out from our manifold and then back into the return line. After installation the movement and temperature of the hydraulic oil is controlled within the blockage prevention system. So we, we take the oil from the return line on the air cart and basically the oil goes into the import of our manifold. Um, it circulates throughout the, the radiator and basically that heats up the radiator which in turn heats up the air in the system. In any system working with hydraulic oil, safety is always one of the main concerns. Cruson told us the blockage prevention system includes an important safety feature. Where if there's a back pressure in the line, then it basically dumps to, to tank. So you can plumb a line in from the dump to, right to, into the tank, or we have a drop tube that you can install here. Cruson says the system stays pretty similar no matter what type of air seeder it's meant for. Usually the biggest difference is that the brackets may change slightly for different units comes with uh, the main unit here, which has a manifold and um, a radiator with a screen built into it. And also some mounting brackets, some hinge pins, a uh, drop tube, uh, some hydraulic hoses and various fittings, depending on what kind of install you're doing. As average farm size has grown in recent years, it has become more important that seeding gets done with as few interruptions as possible. The blockage prevention system should allow farmers to be out in the field in weather, which may have shut them down previously. Um, especially in recent years, there's been a lot of high humidity conditions. So uh, we wanted to have a product that we could offer to them that would reduce the chance of plugging um, so that farmers could actually be running in high humidity conditions and even you know wetter conditions than they normally would. Cruson says not only has humidity been an issue, but the quality of fertilizer itself can often be a major factor in causing plugging and seeding equipment. And these days there's powdery fertilizer, there's you know different qualities that you can buy. So the powdery the fertilizer and the more humidity that you have, the greater chance that you're going to be building up on the insides of your hoses. The blockage prevention system is just about maintenance free. The only thing you may have to do once in a while is blow out the rad if it gets full of dust. Cruson believes the system can be used on any model of air seeder, and they have it on a pretty good variety of units already. John Deere, CNH, Morris, and Borgo. And um, we're thinking that it also will fit other fans um, because there's similar fans used on other units. Even though the AirGuard blockage prevention system is still fairly new, they have tested it on a variety of on-farm seeding conditions. At the time of our visit, the system was available through their North American dealer network for around $2,500.